Hey guys, it's Mick here from Redcliffe Marketing Labs. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can add the Google Plus One uh, icon to your WordPress blog. So what is Google Plus One? They basically brought out these little images here on the side, and it's just like a Facebook like or a, a tweet, uh, or the, um, the tweet mem, uh, tweet button. So it's just indicating you're voting for that site. So you can see if I click on that, it's basically one public vote. And again, it's just a way of uh, curating content. That uh, if you like something, just you would share it on Facebook. This is just the Google way of sharing it, and that'll appear in different search results like that. So that's one way in the search results here. But then we can also add it to our pages in our WordPress blog. So let's have a look at that. So what you should be is logged into your WordPress blog, and that's your dashboard. There you should be pretty used to seeing that. And over here, we're going to add a plugin. So add new. And here in the search, in the box, we're just going to enter WordPress plus one button and go search. And search results, we should get this back here. And we're going to go install now. Are you sure you want to install? Yes. And that's download, unpack package, and we can now go activate plugin. And then you can see, so that is now installed on our WordPress blog and it's activated, so turn it off and deactivate. Let's jump in now and have a look at the settings. And here's some of the settings you have, so you can choose the size of the button you want to use. So look, I'm actually going to, I'm going to set the medium one there and you can set whether you want it at the top of your post or and whether you want it to be floating left or right. Uh, so I'm going to go right and just to have a look at this here and we go right down the bottom of the post as well. How do you can turn that off there. Okay, button count, I'm going to remove that. So it's just got the button and not the uh, bubble. And a couple options here. I'm going to leave it selected for posts. I'm going to turn on for pages. And I'm going to leave it off for attachments like the images there. Okay, so a couple of custom code things you can put in here. And again, you could redirect it after someone presses uh, the plus one. You can send them to another page. Uh, and then this JavaScript I'm going to leave set. So I'm going to set save settings. And let's have a look at how it looks on the website. All right, there's our website. And let's scroll down and have a look at the posts. And then you can see we've got our plus one uh, button added here uh, to that top and to the bottom, floated to the right. So remember those options we could have had in the left or just left as no float. And you can disable it top or bottom. And there it is come up. So let's press it. And there we go, we've got one plus one. So if you're following along, jump in here and uh, hit plus one on my website. But also, yeah, you really want to have this in here, same as you have the tweet or the uh, Facebook share. Uh, you want to have that ability to uh, to do the Google Plus One on your uh, posts and on your pages as well. I hope they found that, that useful. If you're looking for more information like that, head over to recliffemarketinglabs.com.au. Cheers.